Gaystar P-Series PBX is now officially integrated with Zoho CRM. With this integration, we can realize interaction between the two platforms to offer call pop-up, click-to-call, call journal, and contact synchronization. In the meantime, PBX can automatically add new callers from incoming and outgoing calls into the Zoho database. In this video, we will explain how to realize the integration step by step. Before we started, there's one crucial thing that needs to be noted. As the Zoho CRM is cloud-based service, the integration with the local deployed P-Service PBX is done via the public network. Therefore, we need to set up FQDN on our P-Service PBX. So our P-Service PBX and Zoho Cloud Service can access each other. Here we have a video tutorial to show how to activate and set FQDN. All right, now everything's clear. Let's start working. First, we need to go to the web GUI of PSERS PBX, find integration on the left side column, click on CRM, and put in the domain name of the PBX in the homepage URL FQDN. Then an authorized redirect URL will be automatically generated by the system accordingly. Please copy and paste both of the two domains for the configurations afterward. Then we need to move on to the Zoho platform to activate the API on it. This integration now works for all editions of Zoho CRM, including the free ones. So all we need to do is to go to Zoho API console and get started here. On the Choose a Client Type page, select Server-based applications, and then in Create a New Client page, Name the PBX first, and put in the two domains from the previous step into the corresponding field. Once we finish, click on Create. Then in Client Secret, Zoho will generate a client ID and client secret automatically. Please also copy those data. Now we move back to the CRM integration page. In the authentication, we fill in the domain where our PBX can access to Zoho service. So in the account server address, we put in HTTPS, accounts.zoho.com. And in Zoho CRM address, we put in HTTPS, CRM.zoho.com. But if our Zoho service is Europe-based, we need to fill in HTTPS, accounts.zoho.eu, and HTTPS, CRM.zoho.eu instead. However, if those domains do not work, we can go to Zoho Local Support for more information. To continue, we paste the client ID and secret that we copied from the last step into the PBX. With the domain ID and secret, we have finished all data needed to authenticate the connection between Yaystar P-Service PBX and Zoho CRM. As long as the internet is working fine, click on Save. Now a new window will be launched to request the Zoho CRM data access permission. Click on Accept. A new window will pop up to indicate request is successful. We can also go back to the PBX, and it will also show that the authentication is successful and the status displays connected. We can go on and assign Zoho users to each extension. On the CRM integrations page, we can see all available Zoho users. We can click on refresh to confirm. Now we can assign each Zoho account with one extension. Of course, if the extensions and corresponding Zoho accounts share the same email address, we can also click on Associate automatically. The system will match each user with the extension with the same email. Then we can activate synchronized contacts automatically. This way, the PSERS PBX will add data from Zoho contacts, leads, and accounts into the local phone book according to our settings here. Of course, we can create a new phone book specially for the Zoho contacts or use the existed ones. Then we can enable the create new contact automatically function so that PBX will add new callers from inbound and outbound calls into the Zoho database and create new contacts or leads there automatically. This is how to realize the integration of PSERS PBX and Zoho CRM. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Yester PSERS PBX system, please visit yester.com. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already.